Jesus wept. This is why we can't have nice things. We just had the initial and only edition of the gut reaction that didn't suck. With the Evil Dead Rise Red Band, and then Nicolas Cage and his hammy act come shuffling in to ruin things and spoil the fun. Right off the bat, I know that Dracula is in this flick, but why would you tell this story from the perspective of the minion? We got that crappy Mary Shelley film seven years ago that was called Victor Frankenstein, but it was told from Igor's perspective, and how'd that turn out? Crappy, I just told you that. I mean, it starred Daniel Radcliffe trying to matter. His career tried to warn you how crappy it'd be. Are they trying to rip off what we do in the shadows with the werewolf masked burglars? That just seems like an out of left field and yet on the nose choice in concealment to rob a dive bar. The trailer just can't help itself and resorts to the use of modern day current year buzzwords like Okay, obviously we're dealing with a little bit more than just narcissism here. And I need to get out of a toxic relationship. Oh, Hollywood writers, nothing like appealing to snowflake vernacular for that mainstream charm, right? Why not slip a mention or two about trigger warnings or microaggressions, you dainty little milk sops? Am I getting my vampire mythology wrong? Because I don't recall eternal indentured servitude as a familiar to the immortal damned, relegated to the consumption of pests, granting you the powers of the Matrix-level wirework stunts. I just hope my wire fighting team is ready! Isn't this magical? Crikey. Oh, great. That's a huge bitch! If I wanted to watch this level of faux, acrobatic, flippy, kicky gymnastics, I'll just tune into an AEW show. That way their viewership can reach double digits. Look, none of us choose to look the way we do, and we have no control over our physical appearance, short of exercise, diet, avoidance of vices, and cosmetic surgery. I mean, do you think I chose to look this apocalyptically handsome? Now, as I understand it, Aquafina is a... Wait. <laughs> is that seriously her name? Did her parents call her that because they knew how watered down her acting skills were? Anyway, Poland Springs is rumored to be a comedian. Which explains her casting in this film, because Nicolas Cage is an alleged thespian. <laughs> the Sonny Waters' jaw is so wide, it looks like one of those wind-up chattering teeth. Dude, be ugly or untalented. You can't be both. Seriously, if her mouth were any bigger, she'd take the mantle of movie monster away from the count. <laughs> now... On to Nicolas Cage. Stop hiring Nick Cage. Why does horror insist on a policy of offering charity roles to washed up has-beens or talentless nobodies? Bear something in mind, horror fans. Ours is the same genre that gave Paris Hilton and Megan Fox leading lady acting gigs. In the same decade. In back-to-back -back years. Never forget, never forgive. The walking meme that is Nicolas Cage is a joke that has long since passed its warranty. I mean, seriously, the punchline of his acting in the Wicker Man remake is almost 20 years old. Come on already. Seriously, there is so much overacting by the villain, even by Nick Cage standards. It's like he's overcompensating for Keanu Reeves' career in... Well, anything they slot that bearded mannequin in. I guess in some ways defiling the role of cinema's greatest villain is appropriate for Nick Cage's career. Because every time you think that the damn thing is dead and buried, it rises from the grave to plague the living once again. As far as Beast from X-Men, because let's be honest, the same as me, that's the only thing you know him from. 
You're on a timeout, mister. You're coming out with this festering dreck ten years after the last piss-poor attempt at humor in a horror movie that you starred in. Your crimes against comedy will no longer be tolerated, pal. I mean it! You're hereby sentenced to two hours of manual labor of watching X-Men Apocalypse. No! No! There are no remotes to change the channel. There are only bars of soap painted black to make you think you're in control. And they're all located in the shower. Pick them up, won't you? Cruel? Unusual? That's the point. That's how I like my punishment. I think it fair to ask, who is the audience for this? What demographic is this targeting? I remember catching Cocaine Bear last month and enjoying it as a long-awaited and much-needed return to cinematic comedy. And then I look at this dumpster fire and it doesn't even inspire a half-hearted chuckle across two separate trailers. I would love nothing more than to lose myself in long-winded mockery over the voluminous retainer of suck that these previews represent, but I have someone here whose lyrical poetry far exceeds my own to describe this film. All right, analysis. Oh, it smells like carrots and throw up. Oh, that could gag a maggot. I smell like hot, sick ass and a dead carcass. Oh, even Stink would say that stinks. You know when you go to an apartment building and you smell other people's cooking on each floor and you're going, what are they cooking? That plus crap. Ah, music to my ears. If you want to see a Dracula spoof, I implore you, watch Leslie Nielsen's Dracula Dead and Loving It. If you want to see a new Dracula film, Be patient. The Last Voyage of the Demeter releases this summer in August. But above all else, I beg of you, just don't watch this movie. Avert your eyes elsewhere, expend your wallets anywhere. I've been incarnate reminding you, I ain't just a big deal, I'm the real deal. If you're resigned to your fate, time to subscribe to your fears. We're never.